okay welcome back so in our selenium with java series uh, we were looking into a couple of topics on the selenium features and the test ng features as well so we are using mostly java language right and for java language we use intellij as a editor or some of you might be using eclipse as well right so uh, using eclipse or intellij is pretty much similar there is just a couple of ui changes and the way it looks but uh, like coming into the automation testing background people use actually different languages like be it python or java or javascript even typescript so when we use multiple languages uh, we normally use for javascript or for python we use visual studio code right which is one of microsoft's open source tool which you can get it freely you don't need to have any community or pay for that so you can get it free now one question is coming to uh, mind is that why not we can execute this java or the maven project or even the test ng tests into the visual studio code i mean intellij is pretty much fine it's one of the best java editor i have seen but when you use multiple languages uh, in automation testing you might want to have only one editor where you can deal with any uh, any of the languages you just need to open that code repo and you need to deal with that so today i'm going to show how we can execute the java or the maven related project or even execute the test ng test by using visual studio code so yeah for this let me just open the visual studio code so as you can see this is my visual studio code when you install for the first time you can just go to any of the browser let me show you that so you can come back to this and you can just say that visual studio code so if it is not installed you can just go to the code.visualstudio.com depending on whether you are using mac or windows operating system it will give you the stable build which you can download and install as usual application once you install it and open it it will look like this depending on different uh, themes that you have uh, you will see differently ui but that is not scope of this particular session but today i'm going to show how you can open a java project and you can run the test cases from there so for this let me first close my intellij and we will open the same selenium practice repo into the visual studio code so for this let me close it and then here if you go you will see the file and then you say open when you open it will pop up the normal dialog the windows or your mac dialog and oh, one good thing about this visual studio code is that you can use across different platforms as well so here let me just go to this so this is the uh, code base actually or the project let me open it so as you can see this is how it looks like any of the java code if you are opening you will see all the folder structures on the left hand side panel it is uh, just java files empty files you can see all everything okay now when you come to this code base now let's see that if i want to get into the definition of this you can see there is no option because by default visual studio code doesn't support the java actually so how do we deal with this one now visual studio code has uh, something called as extensions so which is uh, very vast actually so you can if you are coming from a sublime text background you can see a couple of packages you can install it to make it more uh, usable and more future packed feature packed so the same thing you can do with the visual studio code but for this we have something called as uh, extensions now if you come back here you will see if you have installed any of the packages before it will be listing down here but you can see like thousands thousands of different uh, packages or the extensions you can see that now our interest is to install the java related extensions so for this simply what you can do come to this search box you can just say java and you enter it you can see lot of different java extensions are coming 
but one thing that we are looking is to from Microsoft and that is called as Java extension pack so if you come to this one now here you can see it is coming from Microsoft and which is having six different packages so this particular Java extension pack includes like these six different packs which will make you more powerful to execute your Java projects even your development you can develop uh, by using Java code as well it supports Maven it supports Gradle test ng J unit everything it supports you just need to install this Java extension pack which in turn uh, installs automatically all these six uh, different extension packs so let's go ahead and click on this install okay so as you can see it installed one two three four five all of these things it installed and here you can see there is something called as a debugger for java maven for java to so to manage your maven project so you can keep it here java test runner is for j unit and test ng test cases where you can just right click and run your test cases i will show you in a moment and then there is something called a java test runner we will see these things in later point of time let me close this now you will see there is a new thing a new option added on to this left hand side that is nothing but testing I'll show you in a moment what it is but let's go to this code base the project you can see before it was only timeline was there but now you can see Java project which it identified that this project is a Java project okay and then there is a Maven because it is a Maven Java project it uh, identified Maven and then the Java project now if you expand it it just shows the folder structure and you can see what and all libraries installed in this or the dependencies the same thing if you come down to this maven you can see there are a lot of different things like the life cycle as we see in the IntelliJ you can see all the goals you can clean the folder you can run the test cases you can even install the packages all the maven lifecycle stuff you can execute it here the same thing you have the plugins and you have the dependencies as well now these dependencies are basically coming from the pom.xml which is uh, automatically detected so if you go to this pom.xml you will see what and all dependencies you have uh, kept it here all those dependencies you can see in this okay if you want to reload or something you can just click on this refresh button and everything else will be loaded correctly and you will see inside here on the below you will see there is a service ready icon is there which is kind of a thumbs up icon so once you see this one it means that your project is ready means all the libraries are loaded correctly you can see how fast it is coming now if you go to any of the Java file now you can go to this one and you can right click you will see there are couple of information is coming I mean the right click uh, context menu is coming here you can go to this definition you can see it is coming from webdriver dot class so which is basically coming from the pom dot xml dependency which we installed so the same thing you can go back to our own methods as well like for an instance let me go to this excel reader maybe here now you can see if i come back or maybe here in this if i go to this main method and then for an instance let's say that i want to go to this so you can right click you can go to definition you can see the internal or the user defined methods also you can see that even it is auto intelligence also for an instance let's say that i want to write something string str equal to let's say qab box something i'm writing and give a colon and if you say str dot you can see all related string methods you will get it here so it is supporting all the java libraries whatever you have installed is coming from there so you don't need any other setups basically so you just need to install that java extension pack and everything else is done so this is more over into the java going into the definitions and looking into the implementations right but what about the selenium related test cases do can we execute the test cases or the test ng test or the j unit test yes we can do that for an instance let me go to this particular test case you can see this is more into the test ng test right how do i execute this one in intellij i have 
option right i can directly right click and run this test but here you can see there is no option as such but there is one good option is there you can see there is a triangular green icon is there which you if you click on this one you can see it is compiling and it executes and it is giving you the test ng output how many test cases ran how many got passed failed skipped everything you will see into the console even there is a terminal as well an in uh, inbuilt terminal into the visual studio code if it is not appearing by default you can go to the control tilt and you can see it is appearing into your current directory so even you can do maven test or any of the goals you can run it from here now this is about running from inside the java file right there is one nice feature here testing it is more into the visual studio concept so where it is auto detecting all of your test ng test inside this so either you can run the complete shoot you can see there is a run test it will execute all of your test ng test either you can do that or individual tests also you can run it like for an instance let's say if i'm running this one and you can see it is running my test ng test actually yes it is doing something and then it closes that's it now you can see it is even giving you the output as well whether it is passed or failed if it is passed it will give you a green check mark if it is failed it will show you the red with the output actually with the whatever the exception you will get it so all these things you can do it by using this visual studio code now another question comes okay this is about your uh, the test ng test right what about the test ng dot xml file so we have something here test ng xml right if i right click you can see there is nothing is coming now let's try to do here right click there is no of uh, no options where you can do right click and run this test how do we do that so there is an open issue actually with the visual studio with this java extension pack actually in the github already the issue is open the team is working on that where directly you can have a context menu to this test ng dot xml but no need to worry about that we have one workaround where you can execute this test ng xml directly from the visual studio code so what you can do you can leverage the pom.xml the uh, what do you call our uh, surefire plugin actually so we know right we can execute the test ng xml directly by using this surefire plugin why not we can leverage that so for this you just need to add this shoot xml files we know already what is this one so you just need to uncomment this one and whatever xml file the test ng xml file you just need to mention the path of that particular file so because it is under the project directory directly onto the parent directory i'm not giving any path i'm just mentioning testng.xml so what you can do you can just open your control tilt and here you just need to call this maven test which will execute your test cases so let's see how many so let me first save this pom.xml and let's go to this testng.xml let's just close this one maven test and you will see there are actually two test cases which will be executing from tc1 and from tc2 let's see that so mbn test and as you can see there are five test cases that executed and it executed successfully that's why you can see this is green actually here if it is a red error you will see into the failure count and you can see the output as well let me just go back to this test ng so that you can see so that is actually you come to this attribute yeah here you can see there are actually three tests on this one two and on this one there are one two three five test cases are there and all those five test cases ran successfully here the same way you can run even if it is a selenium test you can run those things okay so it is really handy if you are working with multiple languages or for lighter version of your editors you can go with the visual studio code so this is what i have opened an existing project right and i have dealt with that but what you can do you can come to this java project sorry into this maven and you will see something here called as a plus actually one icon is there so which you can create a new maven project as well so you click on this you will see a maven quick start actually here so i'll just click on this one 
maybe i will choose any of the version and this is pretty much similar when you create a new project maven project from your intellij as well so it is pretty much same and here you will see it is asking you to give some group id we know already right we need to give the group id and artifact as my project name so i am keeping this one as com dot example enter it it will give you another uh, text box or another option to add your project name so i'll give maven and then i'll say vs code vs code everything in small letters you need to do and just press enter and you can see it is popping up where you want to save it uh, into a local project let me go to the selenium project select this as your destination folder just close this error and here you can see it takes some time to kind of build or prepare for that project to be created and then here you can see it is asking couple of uh, options where it is saying the version i'll just say one and then it is asking do you want to keep the package as com dot example i'll just say why and then you can see it is asking it's saying that the build success so no need to do anything just go with that now let's open the same project so i will say file open into the visual studio code and then i'll go back to this one and uh, I saved that project under this one. So Maven VS Code, right? Just open that newly created project. And you can just say whatever you just say. I trust the author because I am the author only. And you can see, you see that it is coming into a source main Java app.java so it is creating by default uh, the template where if you would have created from IntelliJ also it is doing the same thing now you can see the pom.xml which is basically like it is a JUnit right but you can send it a test ng dependency and you can update whatever you want from here and you can run the test cases be it on selenium or whatever stuff you are writing you can do okay so that's pretty much it uh, so we just learned how we can set up the visual studio code to run our java tests whether it is a j unit or test ng even you can run the test ng dot xml and also we can create a new java project and then we can write the selenium tests using test ng so hope this session is helpful stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel we will see some more interesting topics in future thank you for watching